James here. You'll see, today I hopefully improved the audio significantly, so let me know how it is. I'm just going to do a quick tutorial as a sort of a test before I go on to some more complex ones. I'm going to go back and have a look at tone and highlights again on the character. So here's a little character I've been working on and you can see that I've added some tone and highlight over this character but his left leg and his left arm are still flat and you'll see if you turn the view, all of this view, he's flat in colour. I decided to add the tone and highlight because I feel like there's a lot of grey and it's kind of boring. So what you're going to see is down here if you don't blur this sort of area here, you'll see a chunk when you turn the legs. So if I go and grab this and these two, when you turn, to move, I haven't set up the articulation points yet for this, but when you turn, you'll notice that if I go over here, that I've still got a nice smooth sort of track change. If you don't blur this area here, you'll get like a solid line across here where you can see the difference between the two. So what I'm going to do is have a look at how to do this and how to set up a tone and highlight in the character. Now normally I'm not one for using symbols, as many people know, I much prefer using drawings. But I feel that symbols work really well here for encapsulating the tone and highlight modules. So I'm going to drag the three leg items to make them symbols, delete them from the scene, and then drag them back in. So we had our left foot. We had, let's drag that. And we want a left upper leg and I put the right one in. I wanted the left upper leg and the left lower leg. So now I have these symbols, I'm going to want to go into them and sort of add some tone and highlight. I'm just going to do the upper leg and the lower leg quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'll double click on the left lower leg and here we are into the symbol and I'll just zoom in on our item. Now what I'm going to do is go to network view and you'll see we have this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add Tone highlight. I'm going to use my script because I can't be bothered putting all of this in. I've actually got a tutorial on it, so if anybody wants, would rather do it that way than add them more manually, they can. So now I have a number of layers, and I can now go across to the camera view here, and I'm probably just going to add some tone to this. Okay. That's probably a little bit big. So I'm going to want to select the tone layer. I'm just going to sort of curve it. And that looks reasonably good just for now. I might just add a little bit of highlight down the middle. I'm just, I, I basically play with these settings, you know, more if I wasn't in a tutorial sense. So I'd probably so that's sort of my basic leg. And that's that done. And now you can see it's all encapsulated inside the symbol, which is why I really like it doing it this way. And so we wanted to do the upper leg too. And once again, I'm just going to go to Network View. Clean this up. Now 
And you can see how much time this saves me actually being able to add these really fast. Once again, I'm going to go to my tone layer, I'll set this back up to 50. I mean, obviously, you spend a bit more time than I'm doing trying to get the sort of look that you like. But I find this works, you know, as a quick Oops, I want to put down the highlight layer So I might make that a little bit bigger Okay, let's have a quick look what that looks like you can see the highlights much too strong, so we need to bring that down. I mean, I really want to, you know, you'd really want to have a look at the tone and make the tone sort of much smoother as well. I might actually do that on the other part as well. So that was his lower leg, so I'm just going to change the tone a bit there. And now you can see I have here a solid line which is going to show up as you turn and that's like really ugly and something that you wouldn't want to do. Unfortunately in standard animate I don't think you have this option to blur by area but so you'll have to design your character so these articulations don't overlap. But in the Pro version, you have an option. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the lower leg. We're going to go to the module library. And we'll look for them all. And we're looking for a blur variable. And we'll stick that in the network view. And we'll just pop this in here, pop this in here, and we'll need one more drawing. You should name this drawing, but I'm not going to. Just because of time. So I'm then I'm just going to go here, grab my brush, and... That's it. Now we want to have a look. We want to change this to. Do we want the white radius? <laughs> yeah, we wanted to change the white radius, I think. So let's get rid of this. Yeah, we wanted the white radius changed. So here we go, you've now got a little bit of blur. So now when we go over to our main character, you can see that it's blurred across here. And when you, t when you now articulate it, you'll get this nice sort of effect. You can see here, I've got a little bit of black blurring, and that's not really very good. And so what you want to do to fix that up is simply go back to your lower leg, grab your eraser, Probably easier to do it just in this mode. Oops, my race is huge. And hopefully that'll make a that should look much better. Now now you can see I haven't broken off these lines. So now, it won't be all sort of pixelated like this when you render out, but now you can see how you can have a joint, and this joint will naturally flow. I mean, I might turn up the blur a bit here as well. But that's the basics of adding blur, adding tone and highlight to your characters. Hope you found this tutorial interesting, and I'll be back with more soon.